tankers aflame at sea, Iranian commando storming a British vessel. Saudi Arabia's oil production knocked out by a mystery drone attack. This year has brought the Gulf close to open war. And this veteran Saudi diplomat and senior royal is warning the danger is not receding. We have seen no sign from Iran that they are pulling back on their uh, very negative uh, and provocative uh, military posture, uh, um, not just towards Saudi Arabia, but towards the rest of the countries in the area. How concerned does that make you? Very concerned. Nobody wants war, that's for sure, uh, because uh, nobody will be a winner in a, in a military conflict. Uh, the destruction will be universal. Prince Turkey Al Faisal speaks from decades of experience, former ambassador in both the UK and US. His comments underlined the tensions plaguing the Gulf. <laughs> to the south, Saudi Arabia, governed by young Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, whose judgment remains in question in the wake of the war in Yemen and murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. To the north, Shia power Iran, feeling the strain of US sanctions and under increasing pressure internally. The country has seen some of its worst unrest in recent months. Government buildings torched, security forces openly confronted. Analysts say that may make the regime there increasingly desperate. There is a chance that the Iranian regime might lash out, not only because it wants a distraction, but because it actually thinks that these protests, which I believe are genuine popular protests and grievances against the regime, are being sponsored from the outside. Complicating matters under Donald Trump, the US has sided openly with the Saudis, giving up the attempt at even-handed diplomacy. If the tensions of 2019 erupt again next year, there may be little to hold back either side from sliding into open conflict. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.